Hey you guys, I just finished editing part two of this little two-part series and felt like I needed a little introduction to this video. So before this video starts, I wanted to share with you the reason that I made these videos in the first place and the reason is because I wanted to share this part of my story with you guys and I wanted to just share this part of my life because it's been a very, very real part of my life for a while now and I haven't really talked about it. And I thought about just making a post on Instagram or something but I just, I wanted to make a video and actually go into detail about it and give these updates and just go into detail about what it's been like and um, maybe just spread some awareness. And the second reason that I made these videos is because I just want to encourage anybody that's dealing with an invisible injury or an invisible illness and just let you know that you're not alone in going through that, you're not the only one going through that, and I know that for me, for the longest time, that was one of the biggest struggles, was just feeling very, very alone and very, um, just feeling like I was the only one that knew what I was going through, and that's just not the truth. So what you're about to see is a bunch of clips of me sharing just updates with you throughout the last few months as I've been getting treatment for all of this and treatment for this injury and um, so it is a lot of me talking and it might get a little boring hopefully it doesn't but it might uh, but I just wanted to almost keep like a little video diary about all of this and even just to have it so that way I can look back on it a few years from now and just see the progress that it made since well now <laughs> So anyways, I hope that you enjoy this video, and uh, if you watch the whole thing, great. If not, that's fine. I just wanted to have it to look back on and wanted to encourage anybody that's dealing with anything similar and just let you know, like, I understand <laughs> what you're going through and just be there for you, so. But thank you so much for watching. It means a lot, and thank you also because the channel is nearing 10,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. I don't know how that's happening. I'm very confused, but very grateful. So thank you and uh, enjoy the video. Three years ago on August 8th in 2015, I was in a really bad skateboarding accident. I was skating down this road and my board picked up speed and it started to wobble. So as it turns out, I was going a little too fast at that point and so I jumped off and um, it was too fast for me to even be able to run off the speed and so I basically tripped two or three steps and then just went down and face planted right into the street and got a concussion because of it. Flash forward about two years and I felt completely fine throughout those two years. Then in September of last year, the symptoms started to appear. I started to experience vertigo every single day. I tried all this different stuff and nothing was working and no one could figure out what was wrong because nothing was working. I still had vertigo, I was still super dizzy all the time and super tired and um, soon the, the headaches started. My doctor sent me to an optometrist that specializes in head injuries and basically that doctor diagnosed me with a traumatic brain injury. And then um, he told me what the next step was going to be. He had me try on probably 15 different sets of lenses and walk up and down this carpet. He wrote up a prescription and had me pick out some lenses. So now that you're all up to speed, here comes the next part of this video. Basically what I did is I filmed myself throughout this whole progress or this whole process. I kind of filmed my progress and I um, made these little updates with like talking about how I was feeling and how the glasses were working and if my doctor made adjustments to them and kind of what those adjustments did and all this stuff. So now that you're up to speed and you know what all happened, I'm going to show you the first clip, which is one that I took, I think, the day that I got my glasses or maybe the day after. So I got my glasses uh, sometime 
like in the beginning or middle of April. And when I got them, I was wearing them consistently. I was wearing them from the moment that I woke up to the moment that I went to bed every single day for two and a half to three weeks. And it was great. I had no vertigo. I had no headaches, nothing. The entire time that I was wearing them, I felt great, which was so nice. <laughs> and um, so that was the first set of lenses that I worked with. And there was an adjustment period at first, like it, when I first started wearing them for the like three or four, I think it was like three days after I got them, I did have quite a few headaches and was very, very nauseous and dizzy and stuff. But that was just because my brain needed to adjust to them because I've never had to wear prescription lenses before. And so it was just that initial adjustment. But after I got used to wearing them, I felt great. I had no vertigo, no headaches, no dizziness, no nausea, which was really nice. And um, I just felt great. So today is Thursday, the 24th of May. And I took my glasses in on Monday, the 20th, 21st, I don't know. I took them in on Monday and had my second eye exam and we found the next set of lenses that I need. And today's my third day not having them and it's been hard. <laughs> I've had absolutely no vertigo in the last month, which is crazy because before that I was getting vertigo literally every single day for eight months, I think is what it was. Like it, it dragged on for a very long time. And so to go from experiencing vertigo and dizziness every single day for eight months to going a month with having no vertigo was really, really nice. <laughs> but now that I don't have my glasses, because I'm waiting for the second set of lenses to come in, um, today's just been hard. It's been challenging because vertigo actually woke me up this morning and I just... I rolled over in bed onto my left side and it was like I could instantly just feel my brain spinning violently and I opened my eyes and I looked at my bathroom which is what was right there and, and um, I looked at the door and stuff and all I could see was it just violently rotating and violently spinning and for me like the vertigo stuff's never been visual it's always just been uh, more physical where I feel like I'm moving even though I'm not so like I'd be sitting at home and feel like I was on a boat or something and so to wake up this morning and just see my bathroom spinning violently was scary the spinning lasted for like one to two minutes and then it kind of eased up and went away but I remember just I felt like I was on one of those teacup rides at Disney World where you're like in a teacup and it's just spinning all over the place I felt like I was on that this morning which was not fun so um that's pretty much been my day so far i've just had a lot of vertigo already i've like been bumping into walls as i've been walking into my room and i've been um almost feeling like i'm on a boat again where i'm like <laughs> i'll start walking and like kind of sway back and forth i'm just really looking forward to getting my glasses back Hey you guys, so um, I wanted to give you guys another little update on how the glasses are working out. Um, this is my second set, I think, of lenses and I've had these for about like a week and a half, maybe? Yeah, I think it's been about a week and a half and I've been adjusting to them pretty well. Um, they're supposed to stop working after about two weeks, like the first pair. And so I can kind of feel it starting to set in because my eyes are starting to feel strained and I'm getting um, a few headaches here and there and so I'll probably have to stop wearing them pretty soon. But I just wanted to film a little update because that's what this video is all about. It's about my recovery journey, I guess. It's definitely been, I think, harder adjusting to these glasses than it was the first pair because the first pair, like, took me three or four days, I think, to adjust to, and um, that was definitely more intense because I felt really, like, nauseous and had migraines and 
um, was super dizzy for the first three days of wearing the glasses. But then like the fourth day I woke up and I put them on and was just magically adjusted and felt way better. And with these glasses, it's taken a little longer to adjust and I've noticed they have like almost like a fisheye effect when I turn my head. That's why I'm turning my head like this because I'm a bobblehead. So it's definitely been an adjustment just trying to get used to these lenses and I had to go back in for a prescription check because it was taking me too long to adjust to them and um, it was really interesting because I went in for my prescription check and what my doctor did was he took a little pen and he literally just marked a, like a speck on the sides of my glasses. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but that tiny little dot right there, that tiny little black speck on those glasses, that's all he did. He added that little dot. He had to keep um, changing the position of the dot and he would like move it around on the side of the glasses and stuff, which was really weird, <laughs> but um, it was interesting because after he added that dot, that tiny little almost microscopic spec, all the pain just immediately went away, which is crazy. <laughs> so I didn't get any of that on film at the appointment because it was a pretty quick appointment and he was pretty busy and I didn't want to take up more of his time. And so um, I didn't get that, but yeah, he just, he added this tiny little speck right there because uh, I was having, I was a, taking like a week to adjust, which you're only supposed to take about two to three days with these glasses. So that's why I had to go back in. But once he added the speck onto my glasses, like sometimes he'd put it, he put it like up here and it would make it worse and it would make my eyes feel more strained. So then he'd move it down a little bit and I'd be like, whoa, like that's way better. So it took us about 10 minutes to find the right placement for the speck, which just blows my mind. It blows my mind that something that tiny can make that big of a difference, but that's what happened. So he added the speck and then I put my glasses back on once we found the right um, placement for it and all of my eye strain was gone. My headaches were gone with the glasses. Like they felt completely normal after adding a speck. So anyways, I've been wearing these for I think a week now. Um, yeah, because it's Thursday the 13th, 14th, I don't know, what day is it? I know it's Thursday, I don't know the exact date, but um, we are in the middle of June and I've had these with the speck for about a week. Um, I've had these glasses or this uh, second set of lenses for about two weeks now. And yeah. So I'll keep wearing them for another like few days. They're starting to kind of stop working again as they're supposed to, which is a good thing because when they stop working, it means that my brain has adjusted to them and it means that I'm ready to go on to the next set of lenses. So um, the time with these should be about up and I'm starting to feel it where it is giving me some headaches again and so um, I am set to go back in I think at the end of June like the end of this month I think I don't know anyways that's just a little update for now I'm feeling good I haven't had any dizziness or any um, headaches or anything the last few days with these on which has been great so I am just about ready for my third set of lenses and I will keep you guys updated. Tomorrow I'm going into the eye doctor again and I'm going to be trying on a bunch of different lenses and trying to figure out what the next set of lenses that I need is. Uh, so it'll be my third set. I will try and film that whole process tomorrow. Um, just because, I, I mean it's kind of interesting just trying out a bunch of different lenses and um, figuring out what the next best step is gonna be for me. So that's tomorrow. In the meantime, I haven't felt very good today. I've had a headache since the moment that I woke up and it hasn't gone away at all. So that that hasn't been very fun, <laughs> but um, it's been a pretty relaxing day. So that's at least good. At least I don't have anything crazy going on. So 
um, I guess I will see you guys tomorrow when I go in to get my new set of lenses. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not as overwhelming as it was at first. It's still moving when I walk, though. I can okay. see that. Moving out, moving, moving out, like spreading out. Okay. Does it build a little anxiety when you're walking? A little bit, yeah. Okay. So just, let's see what we're So as you watch the carpet pattern, mm -hmm. is it moving when you're standing still? No. Does this make it any more clear or more blurry? A little bit more clear. And does it walk where you feel that? Well, this way's fine. This way it's spreading out, but it's pretty subtle. Pretty subtle? Yeah. Does it still have things clear as you stand? Um, yeah, I think so. Try it with movement, please. Okay. I think this one might be spreading a little bit more. A little bit, a little bit more. more. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. So with these glasses, when you get them, I want you to wear them enough to really get used to them. And then try things with and without. Okay. What you may find is when you're out and about, on your walks, out uh, with friends, going wherever, you may really like them. When you're working on your music, doing things up close, you may find that with or without them is about the same. Okay. So figure out how much you need to wear them to keep things comfortable. What I want to do is when they come in, see you again and see, do we need any of that minor occlusion technique on there, the dots, mm -hmm. to see if that really brings about the rest of it then. Okay. So, so far, wonderful progress here. Good. We're not putting any prism in these numbers whatsoever. So at this point, we're done with that. Okay. Probably done with that for the long run, too. Every now and again, we do have to go back into a minor prism. Mm -hmm. But I think right now, just correcting for that little bit of nearsightedness, along with seeing if we need any of the occlusion techniques, okay. then I think we'll get another really good next step. Sweet. All right. So you think I'll only need one more set? I'm hoping this is going to be your last set of lenses, and any changes we need to do, we can do with the pen. Okay. I noticed, I mean, the last time, and this could be different this time, but um, when I brought my glasses in and you know I had to wait to get the lenses and stuff when I was without them for a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. I was still experiencing quite a bit of dizziness and stuff without them um, versus feeling great with them and so do you think that'll be different this time or like is that a bad thing if that happens? How much, have, how much have you been wearing the lenses the last few days? Um, pretty consistently. Okay. They, like, they only just stopped working like three days ago. Okay. So the increase in headaches the last few days is probably because that prism is now wrong for you. Okay. Okay. Um, it could be that the dizziness and headaches will go up until these come in. Okay. We'll get you to the point where you're going to be able to go with and without them pretty comfortably. Okay. Could take a couple more steps though. Okay. Hey you guys, I just got back from my doctor's appointment. And um, so that was the footage that you just saw was me trying on different lenses and trying to figure out what uh, the next step is going to be from here. And so uh, my doctor said that I'm making really good progress, which is awesome. Um, he thinks I'm going to need just one more set of lenses, but um, we'll have to see about that. So it could end up being two depending on how this all goes, but I'm really hoping that this will be my last set. And uh, he gave me some really awesome exercises to do 
as well, like right here you can see. Um, I've got to do these things called thumb pursuits. I've got to do this bean bag toss where I basically hold a bean bag in one hand and then follow it with my nose and like toss it into my other hand back and forth 20 times and it's supposed to like help I don't know help your eyes and your brain communicate better or something I'm not totally sure I don't know the science behind it but I know it's um, good and it'll help me and stuff so I've got to do that and then I've got to I have to like walk up and down um, well he had me do this in his office so I would walk up and down the hallway and basically for every two steps I would like look to the right or the left so like I would walk two steps while looking at something to my right and then for the next two steps I'd be looking at something to my left and keep going back and forth with these head movements and head turns and stuff and that's supposed to help with my balance because if you think about it you're like focusing on something that's over here like over to the right but you're trying to walk straight and then you switch it up you're looking at something to the left while trying to walk straight and it's supposed to just I'm really bad at explaining this, but it's going to help with my balance, I think, and so um, I've got to do those over the next few weeks, and um, I took my glasses in, so I'm waiting on the lenses now, and I should have them back within about two weeks, so um, it'll, be, it'll be good. I'm really hoping that this is my last set, but we'll see. And sorry if the audio is kind of weird or if you guys couldn't really hear everything that was going on. I don't have a microphone attached to my camera and so I've just been using the camera mic and the camera audio and stuff. So sorry if it sounds a little bit weird. But um, I just wanted to keep you guys updated and kind of show you what this whole process has been like. And that appointment that I had today, um, I've had that same appointment basically like three times now. And he's taking the prisms out of my glasses, so this will be my first set of lenses without prisms. Um, and I don't totally know how all the prisms work and stuff, but somehow it like it helps your brain and eyes communicate, and it's part of the whole like retraining process or whatever. So, anyways, that's what we were doing when I was walking up and down that carpet wearing those funny-looking glasses. <laughs> and so um, we pretty much we found the next set and I'll get them back in about two weeks. So, a uh, big thank you to my doctor. He is very, very talented in this and he's just got a God-given gift in this field. And so, um, it's been a huge, huge blessing getting to go in and work with him and um, just help heal my brain because I was stupid and didn't wear a helmet when I was longboarding all of my subscribers that skateboard wear a helmet otherwise you might end up spending thousands of dollars to fix your brain just take it from me learn from my mistakes okay don't be stupid if you're biking skateboarding anything like that wear a helmet okay motorcycles all of it I don't care wear a helmet do it okay <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, so I just got back from that appointment and I've had a headache for like the last four days that just kind of has hung around and hasn't really gone away, but um, he said that that's likely because my glasses finally stopped working and uh, so it's just my, my brain trying to like readjust now to not wearing glasses and then I'll have to adjust again when I get my next set. So it's interesting. It's... I don't know how to explain a lot of this stuff, um, just because I don't know like the science behind it or anything, but um, I'd say that today's appointment re went really well, and my doctor said that I'm making a lot of progress, which is awesome, and um, I will check in with you guys later. So that is what has been going on uh, over the last six months of my life. Well, actually, really over the last three years of my life, but um, more, you know, more recently, I guess. Did that make any sense? Probably not. So something that I haven't talked about yet is that at my last um, eye doctor, neurologist, whatever you want to call it, appointment, my doctor checked my neck, and apparently the top two vertebrae in my neck are also injured from the accident. And... Um, 
that being said, I have now started going to physical therapy for my neck and uh, I'm still wearing the glasses here and there, but uh, that's kind of the next step of this whole treatment. And I have to go th through at least 12 weeks, uh, once a week physical therapy. And I just had my first appointment three days ago. Yeah, three days ago. And it was interesting. Um, didn't love it because it was painful. <laughs> and made me super dizzy and I mean it wasn't fun but that's part of the process right now and that's just what I have to do. I'm probably not going to film any of that I mean unless you guys want me to but that is the next step for me right now is another 12 weeks of physical therapy so I'm a lot better now than I was 10 months ago or 11 months ago which is a big plus and you know I can live my day-to-day -day life mostly without getting dizzy um, it still gets really really bad if I'm ever in stores or at the mall or uh, doing anything like that like grocery shopping is a nightmare for me right now and um, concerts and movie like the movie theaters and all that is really really difficult for me right now I'm trying to do those things and, and go to those things because um, it's it's so much for my brain to try and take in and it just can't it can't process it right now okay so my camera just ran out of storage because it couldn't handle the amount of footage that i was recording but um i just want to end this video by saying that it's been an absolute roller coaster over the last year and lots of ups and downs and lots of learning experiences and growing experiences and um there's been a lot of good and a lot of bad, and I'm not out of the woods just yet. It's hard to say if I ever will be, but um, I am learning to look at this in a more positive light, I feel like. And at the same time, I do want to let myself grieve at times, because there are things that I, that I have to grieve. Like, I'm not the same person that I was before I got this injury, and I, I won't be that same person ever again, which is really hard, but... Um, at the same time, I think that's where things like music and art have been such big blessings in my life because it's just, it's allowed me to just get all this out and to have something to create and express myself and um, do for fun. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it all the way to the end, I know it's going to be a, a bit of a long video, but I've wanted to make this for so long and just kind of share my story and share what the last year has looked like because it's been one of the most challenging years of my life but it's also been one of the best years of my life so um thank you for watching thank you for listening and if you have a loved one that struggles with an invisible illness or injury the best thing that you can possibly do for them is give them a whole lot of grace and patience and um, just believe them when they say that they're hurting because it's hard and it's hard enough if they feel like They're making it up in their head. Maybe or if you if you think that they're making it up in their head, they're not they're legitimately in pain and um, Just have a lot of grace, you know if they say that they're not up to doing something sometimes just Let them rest <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much. I'm sorry I didn't post last week again, but uh, hopefully this video makes up for that. And I just, I appreciate you guys all being here and um, love you all, I'm thankful for you all. And I'm gonna go, but I will keep posting updates on my Instagram probably, like physical therapy updates and all of that. So if you're interested in seeing more of my progress as I'm still trying, you know, still getting treatment for all of this um then you can follow my instagram right here and i will be posting a lot of updates on all of this that's it for this video i hope that you enjoyed watching and thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in another video next week bye I hear an ice cream truck. <gasps> There's an ice cream truck. <gasps>
I'm lactose intolerant though. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, there's just a all right. Man, that's what happens when you have to film in your car in your neighborhood. <laughs> I don't know what this dancing is. <laughs> oh dear goodness. Is it bad that I kind of want to just take a rock and throw it at... Here it comes. That must be so annoying, having to drive around, just listening to that tune over and 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 over. But I'm sorry. There's, there's, that's, I do that all the time. That's all for my brain injury. <laughs> it's just, uh -huh.